Welcome to Post Fight with Ray Thompson. This show is powered by MMA Crypt. For more interviews and podcasts, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, MMA Crypt. You can also follow MMA Crypt on Facebook and Twitter. It's at MMA Crypt on Twitter and MMA Crypt on Facebook. To follow me, it's at MMA Mental on Twitter, Ray Thompson on Facebook. I'm now joined by Darren Crookshank. Darren's coming off a big victory at UFC Fight Night 40 with a a TKO win over Eric Cope. Darren, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, what did you say? Thank you very much for joining me. Oh, yeah, thanks for having me on, uh, on the show. Uh, my pleasure. And congratulations on a really, I mean, probably your biggest uh, win yet in the UFC. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great challenge for me. So, um, I'm pretty happy with, with what went down. Now, uh, in, in the build-up to the fight, I, I was quite surprised to see this, but you were a, a huge underdog going into the fight. Some bookies had you like three to one underdog. Were you surprised with your, you know, with your record at lightweight and him coming up from featherweight? Were you surprised to be such a big underdog for this fight? Uh, am I am I surprised that it, it went so well? Is that what you're saying? No. It, were you surprised that you were such oh, a big underdog? Oh, the underdogs. You know, I. Uh... I can't, I don't know what they base it on, but I was told that like they base it on uh, you know the gym you go to, the, you know your trainers, things like that. Uh, and you know I'm not out of a big gym, so you know that's uh, that's unfortunate for the guys that bet on on uh, Eric. But uh, you know it, it doesn't bother me at all. You know the guys in Vegas obviously don't have to talk about. Did anything about Eric Coke's game surprise you? Did, did what? Did anything about Eric Koch's game surprise you? Oh, uh, surprise me? No, not really. Um, you know, my father, he he, uh, he scouts the guys that I'm fighting and, and gets me ready for for basically everything they got as long as, uh, you know, my dad can do videos. He can uh, break people down pretty well. So nothing really surprised me. I knew he was going to be uh, you know, a little long. He shoots straight, and, uh, and I was ready for that. Now, this is the second fight in a row where the beginning of the end has, has, has come with, with a head kick. With your, with your kicking background, how nice is it for you to be finishing people this way? Uh, well, I mean, I've been, I've been training for this my whole life, so, and I throw a lot of kicks. I mean, I don't, you don't see me throw a lot of leg kicks because leg kicks don't knock people out. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not in there to play around. I go, I go straight to the kill and... and when you do that, that's kind of what happened. How did you feel after the fight? If you, because it was quite a, you know, quite a quick fight. Do you have any knocks, injuries, and, and when would you like to get back in and compete again? Um, I don't have a date or anything set in stone, you know, as far as the fight coming up. So uh, I'm actually going on the troops tour. I leave on Friday, so I'll be in the Middle East for two weeks, and then after that, I'm sure I'll get back and figure out what's going on next. Have you got your eye on anybody you'd like to face? Uh, anybody? No, not, not necessarily. Uh, you know, I, I uh, I've always put my uh, my you know career, I guess, you'd say, in the matchmaker's hands, and, and I trust Joe Silva to, to give me the right matchup, and that way I can put on a show and try to get a bonus. Uh, final question before I give you a chance to do some shout outs now one of the things that one of our listeners picked up and, and they messaged me and asked you to ask, ask you this was during the fight the crowd were doing uh, the well known Ric Flair woo do you know why they were doing this? Right, during tough uh, what? during your fight the crowd were wooing you know like, like Ric Flair does in the WWE did you, did you, were you aware of this? did you know why they were doing it? no I didn't I didn't hear that I didn't I mean when I'm in the cage I don't hear anybody. I mean, I actually zoned right in on his coach, and uh, I was listening to, to, to everything that Duke Group was, was yelling. I didn't. I don't really necessarily uh, hear what the, the crowd's doing and, and, uh, and, uh, and everything else. Well, thank you very much for giving me your time today. It's been great having you... Uh, I've spoken with you before. It's been great having the opportunity to speak to you again. Before we let you go, Darren, I just want to give you a chance to do some shout-outs. You want to shout-out any sponsors and anybody you want to thank that help you get ready for this fight? Yeah, uh, you know, I had Rush hooked it up uh, for me my last fight, so, you know, I always appreciate that. Um, Vertex, uh, Jason Vertex, uh, Jason Vertex, 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 Jason
in Dearborn, Michigan. You can check it out at michigancp.com. Brilliant. Well, I, I can't, I can't wait to see you step in and compete again, Darren. Thank you very much for your time. Awesome. Thanks for having me on. Anytime.